Whoa, whoa, whoa. We, we, we. You and me. Me and you. It's the Danny Karen Show. Danny Karen here. You know what's good? I mean, really good. Well, I made a discovery about cars and vehicles and stuff of that nature that I never noticed before. And I'm going to share it with you. You ready? I'm ready. So, I noticed something. Uh, where, where am I going to go with this? Oh, yeah. I know. So, um, throughout the uh, last couple of months, I've been driving my Jeep around. And while I'm on the road, people have been telling me, your taillight is out. So I would go into my vehicle and I would press on the brakes and I would see both uh, lights on either side are lighting up. And I'd be like, they're, 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 they're crazy. They're, they're, mess they're messing with me. They're messing with me because my lights are working. I press on the brake. The lights are working. And it's all good. And I'm driving around and then... Uh, a close personal friend of mine who hopefully you get to meet, not today, not in this video, not in this lifetime, but maybe sometime down the road, you get to meet him. He told me that my taillight is out, and I was just like stepping on the brake, and I'm like, no way, this is, it's not possible. And then I looked it up, and I realized the brake light and the taillight or two different things! Well, this is like four fingers, but two different things! And that's crazy, and that's something that you don't know, but I do. You know what else something that you don't know about, but I know about? Actually, I don't even know about this. This is like a whole new phenomenon, because I've done, I've done tarot cards. I've never did tarot cards, but on this show, you've seen and you met... I forgot her name. And she's going to punch me in the face. But you met her. Sammy. Sammy. Sammy does tarot. Um, you met Sammy. She does tarot. And people have known about tarot for years upon years. Like, I just, well, I, I, I didn't discover it. It's been introduced to me back in high school. And by, by some weird lady. Well, a weird peer, perhaps. And, um... I would like to say that uh, people know about tarot, but people don't know about this. You got to check it out. We're going to uh, learn about the Enchanted Tarot. We're going to learn about a, a, a study called These Hands. These Hands. Like, look at, you look, look at these hands. Like, they're nice hands. They're pretty cool. They do things. They play video games. We're going to meet uh, Christy that... Uh, learns not really learns but she knows about the study of these hands see you can't see me i'm john cena you can't see me so she knows about these hands she's going to tell us about these hands because it's a really cool idea about uh palm reading and like learning about other people based on their hands not just the palm but their hands pretty cool stuff so please welcome christy yeah And she's here, and she's she's got uh, her garments on, and she's all set. Hello, Danny. Hello, Christy. So tell us about these hands. Like, what is what's what's the deal with that? Well, these hands was the name of the series. Um, it's the name that I came up with. Like, you know, in movies, um, I couldn't pin it down to one movie, but I looked for it. I just think it's like a. a archetype thing mm -hmm. but like when the scientist or the killer looks down at their own hands right and they're like what have i done these hands i see that so that's where i came up with the title of it but it's not exactly palmistry it's the science behind hand reading mm -hmm. which was a science has been a science way before it was a suedo science or just like something people did in bars to make conversation right so what got what got you into these hands. When I was in third grade, a little pamphlet came with a zine that um, I got in the mail. I think it was Moxie Girl. And I started reading my sister's hand and then my friend's hand. 
And at the time, I was going to Catholic school, so I got in trouble for that. <laughs> so Damn. I put it away for a little bit until, you know, I was like older and in the world that I could create for myself. And I came across a textbook um, published in the 1800s, actually by a Oxford professor, William Benham. And he studied hands like a science. Like he was a professor and he went to prisons. He saw presidents. He went everywhere and he looked at hands and he really like found the science behind it and that every single thing in our psyche is related to our hands. And unlike wrinkles that are built throughout, you know, a lifetime, your like hand wrinkles change mm -hmm. for your whole life. I see They're that. Never the same. Mm -hmm. And actually, last night um, it was pretty interesting. I've already seen this before, but it was kind of cool to point it out to everybody else while they looked at their own hand and saw like the three major lines. But we have this one friend that has absolutely no heart line. Wow. And he is a heartless fellow. Wow. I've never seen that in my life, but it exists. You know, it's funny, um, when you talk about the, the hand wrinkles, uh, I have one in my hand, it's like curves, and one time I was playing basketball, and I don't play basketball very well, and I fell in the street, and so I went and hit my face, I landed on my hands, and um, I, I said to myself at that point, well, this is really going to change my future, my life, and, and this, that, the other thing, because, you know, I cut it, I cut it right here. Where? Is there a scar? There's no scar, but, you know, I cut my hand, like, around this area. And I, I, I was convinced when I was, like, in middle school that my life was going to be changed oh, a little bit. Oh, sliced your life on? Yeah, maybe. I don't even know. I don't know what these, li I don't know what these lines mean. How old were you at the time? Fourteen. Did you cut it, like, over here? Is that the scar? Maybe. I don't know. So what do the lines mean? Which ones? There's so many. There is so many. Like the there major one. So like this guy. Many. This guy over here. That's your headline. So what? tell us about the headline. The headline has to do with the way that you think about things. Um, any mental illnesses or strengths of the mind will come up in that. Also, if your headline meets your lifeline, then you don't get through life without your head being involved. And usually people whose connect have like more worry lines. Wow. As well, you know, um, if it's broken in places, like you can see that that might be a time like where you like kind of had a, like a little bit of a mental breakdown or a change in perception or beliefs, like a total like radical change, like right. I'm going Muslim to Christian or right black to white, like Michael Jackson. He probably had a break in his life. So what about this one over here? This one. That's the lifeline. I got that's the headline that we were just talking about. That's the headline. What, what about this one? That's the heart line. It's the heart line. Mm -hmm. The heart line's on top. And this is the uh the headline. So um To your headline and your lifeline connect. My head and my heart? Your head and your life. Really? So what does that mean? It means that you're you you're thinking about everything that you're doing, like you're always thinking. Yeah, I I would say that's in that's every very accurate. Every single thing that you do, whether good or bad, you're always like in your head. So what about like this guy over here, the one that goes around the, the thumb area, lifeline, the life, and this is the head. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they intersect right there. Mm -hmm. Nice, interesting. Well, this one over here. Inside your lifeline? Yeah. Or the, the, this curve is your lifeline. Oh, 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 it's the same curve. Yep. See, it starts... Well, they can go through different paths. Um, and show different... Well, are you a right-handed person or a left-handed? Right-handed. You're right-handed. So I should do this. You're right-handed. Well, your left hand shows things that you're preconceived to. It's like the hand that you're born with. Like what you know would have happened if you didn't take like a direct... Um, determined route for yourself like right what just like if you just let life like naturally play out that's your left okay hand. your right hand is all the choices that you've made yourself like the things that you've right. done so like my lifeline on my left hand is like smooth sailing on my right hand not so much but mm. that's my own fault okay so we'll get we're gonna start over folks start over 
All right, so this would be, which one is this? The life. The life? Yes, and it's deep. Um, there's not much uh, curvature in it. Like, it doesn't go on, like, erratic paths. It goes out there a little bit, so, like, you know, you do, like, explore, like, the... You go out there a little bit, but it, mm -hmm. it, you don't deviate off the norm, like, the you know, the path. Right. Like, you haven't gone on any, like, wild... Uh, Sprees lately, have you? No. Okay. Didn't I didn't think. Um, you have um, a lot of influential lines within your lifeline. So there's a lot of like people, places, things, memories that have influenced like who you are now. Mm -hmm. um, you have that more so than you do worry lines, which is not um, as common as the other way around. Usually people have more worry lines, like worries that affect them. Mm -hmm. You have more influences that affect you, so that's a really good thing. That's like a really positive thing. Um, you have somebody that... Now, okay, this goes a little past the science of it, mm -hmm. depending on if spirituality is within your own science. Mm -hmm. But it's some... I'm not going to ask you if somebody died, but somebody that died is with you. Um, they've been there for quite a while. You were probably 15, 10, 9, 12, under 15. Hmm. Did you die under 15? That's right there. So if this is 75, 45, 35, yeah. Wow. Is there a death? There was. There was my grandmother. That's what I was thinking. And like a bunch of grandparents. They they all died before at, fifteen. At the same was there two that were like just like very short period apart. One that's closer mm. to you and one that like once you get older can like see their way. Like, alright, he's fine now, I'm gonna go. <laughs> like the one that says, Alright, he's fine, I'm gonna go now happened before the one that's like, I'm gonna remain really close. Hmm. Yes? Does that make sense? Yeah, I would have to, like, think back. You'd have to think back. <laughs> Do we take out the hypnotism? <laughs> we might have to. She's the comedian tonight, not me. <laughs> so what about, what about over here? Like this, this guy. Uh, your heart line. Which, oh. Which was missing from that dude's hand. So, okay, in your heart line you could find... Well, if you twist your hand okay. around... It's the it's the major one, up by the digits. Mm -hmm. Okay. And each digit means something too, and each part. Of the oh wow! Have they come back multiple times? They yeah. There's just so much that like it's hot. Like it's like when someone goes like, read my palm. It's like, oh, well, where do I start? What do you want to know? Like there's yeah. so many aspects of it that like it's unbelievable. It's very very layered. So okay, this part of your heart line like comes into play because this is like what people always want to like know like when they're in high school and stuff. Like your marriage lines are right here. And then the lines that like cross over them would be like your children lines. But that's getting more into the divination palmistry and less about the science of it. Where like I intended the videos originally to be only about the science. Right. Like the things that like for example I'll give you an example of the science. Let's it. hear it. Right. I know you want to hear it too. I hope so. A little out there. <laughs> <laughs> In movie land. <laughs> so, all right. Here's an, this here's is a, YouTube land. YouTube land. Here's a sample. William Benham found, out of all the you know hands that he went and studied, which were so many, like he was able to tell a character... Just by the way they held their hands when they walked into a room. Because the way right. you hold your hands has a lot to do with, like, psychological like analysis as well. Um, if you're, like, you know, trying to hide your hands, like, you have something to hide. If you, you like, you use your hands a lot in your videos, I noticed. Yeah. So you're just, like, very, like, you put yourself out there. Like, you're not, like, afraid of people seeing anything about you. Like, you're just, like, like I noticed that about you in your videos. Mm-hmm. But one example was people with those, like, there's different hand shapes. So there's people with, like, square, squat, short, kind of chubby hands. If they had a club thumb and were very red at the same time, which 
has a scientific correlation. It's high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, those people are likely to um, kill someone or try to kill someone in their lifetime. Wow. It's not a common hand type. Like, you could picture like a Muggsy or a Bugsy having it, like a criminal type, the muscle. This is not criminal. This is no regular. No, I'll talk about those little like stout. Yeah, like, I could see him. Club hands, yeah. And then, you know, there's like the people with piano fingers that, you know, they are just better at piano. Like the artist hands, the air, air hands they are called, like the long, slender, oval-shaped hands. Right. So your hand does say a lot about you. It's like going to take 20 years to explain it or to buy anybody into it that doesn't believe in it. But the book by William Benham, he perfected, he won me over. Hmm. Interesting. What do you say about my thumb? You're I, more, um... Extra points if you tell people I'm really good at Mario Kart. He's really good at Mario Kart. See, that she knows. And he's more will than logic. So you're willful. Do what you want. What about this? Is that interesting or cool? What are you doing? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think you're doing a joint thing and I don't really study joints. You don't study joints. It's terrible. No. Just, uh... Well, if you're flexible. You're showing flexibility, I guess, with your joint. Yeah. I mean, I, I go into... These joints, like whether they're like knotty, gnarled, straight. Oh, you have more gnarled. Ooh. Wait, wait. Put your hands. Put your fingers out. Yeah, you got the gnarled one. So you're more of like a like a. Ana, even though you have the like the entertainment part in you, you also have the analytical professor mind. I see that. Yeah. That's from that's from my father. Okay. He's a professor, so it makes sense. You have like a water air hand, like I guess very similar to me, which us like active types do. Hmm. Except you're more knottier, meaning like you have the knot show more like of a old soul wisdom. I have less of that. And your uh, thumb is straighter than mine. Also, like uh, hyper extensions. So the fingers go backwards a little bit? Yeah. That has, um, that's a conical tip. Um, and that also goes into the mind and how you think. If you wow. think more of analytically. Makes sense. Awesome. Awesome. So, um, I like to thank Christy for showing up today. Well, I, I, I showed up to Christy. But whatever the case is, I like to thank Christy for being on the show today. Um, she's gonna put her uh, contact information uh, down in the comments below. You can go to innereyetaro.com or facebook.com slash innereyetaro. And if you can remember There's that, that remember lessons. that that's great. There's free palmistry lessons in the palmistry section. You see that? If you can remember that, that's great. If not, she'll put in her. Uh, in the comments. In the comments, her information. And if you like this video, love this video, think it's eh, okay, whatever the case is, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And if you do, you can ring the notification bell. Dong! And you'll be more in the know of what's going on. And we have a... We have a... We have a... Oh, oh. We have, a, we have a doll's head. <laughs> that we're going to show everyone. I promise you, the doll's head. If you leave head. a bad comment, this will haunt you for life. That is, that's actually a fact. It's going to haunt you for life. So, pl please subscribe. Please like it. Give it a thumbs up. Please give a, a bell. So, when, when you ring the bell, thumbs down. I'll tell you what happens. When you, on your phone... As soon as I upload a video, boom, your phone is notified and you get to see the latest Danny Karen Show episode. So, 
Thank you, and see ya.